Here is yet another outstanding story stone. This is a Paleo-American story stone effigy found in a South Carolina river by a diver. And it's a river in South Carolina where they actually dive for Clovis points. So it's a Paleo location. Look at that face, would you? Uh, here's looking at you. A face and only a mother could love. Here we have an eye and we have the he headdress up above and the mouth, the open mouth over to the right. That's been beautifully flaked, beautifully flaked into this fossilized mammoth tooth. This is a baby mammoth tooth and it's now rock. But uh, along millions of years ago it was a mammoth uh, tooth. And uh, this uh, fossil was found by the Paleo Indians and they revered baby mammoth. And so what they did was they flaked the face here on the baby mammoth and, uh, and made it into a paleo story stone. Here's another face now looking to the left, kind of an ominous face. And here we have a mammoth now, a baby mammoth facing left. We have another face here with this eye being flaked out and the mouth down here facing right, and then we have um, uh, another mammoth image, of course, here now uh, facing left. So this is a fossil. It's pretty much rock, It's it's and, and it's heavy. It's heavy rock, and our Paleo-American friends of Clovis error and uh, likely before, flaked a lot of fossil material to make story stones, Paleo-American story stones. In fact, Paleo story stones from Morocco are oftentimes made of fossils. They're made of fossils all around the world, China, Africa, all over. And this is one from North America, from a river in South Carolina found by a diver. And it's a beautifully flaked Paleo-American story stone artifact effigy.